Western bacon cheeseburger. It's a Western bacon cheeseburger made fancy. We have a jalapeno glazed bacon. We got these shoku caramelized onion rings, and we got the cheeseburger steakhouse style. Everyone, cool it. Just take it easy. All right, we don't want to lose our fucking heads here. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm gonna take a big bite. <laughs> here we go. Let's have some fun. We are gonna start with our caramelized onion rings. All you gotta do, fill up a blender with a bunch of red onion, white onion, yellow onion. Never go over the um, fill line when you're blending stuff, which is right here. I'm just joking, I don't think it matters. Shout out to the Shoku boys for this uh, caramelized onion recipe. I cannot take any of the credit for that. I don't think I ever would have thought of that in a million fucking years. Check out shoku.la on Instagram. They're the fucking boys and they make ridiculous Donkulous food. You can't over blend this, by the way. We're turning it into like a liquefied pureed onion paste sort of situation. So don't worry about it. Just let it blend. Oh, oh, oh. I haven't been crying for like a month. I feel like I just listened to a Zach Brandt song. We're looking for that consistency. It's basically just like onion juice. We're gonna caramelize the fuck out of these. So right in the pan they go. <laughs> it looks like a frozen slushy. Yum. We don't need to season it or anything yet. We're just cooking out the moisture. And then later we'll add flavor. So the Shoku boys, the guys who taught me how to do this, they do like a miso caramelized onion. We're making a cheeseburger today, so we're using bouillon. Some fresh cracked pep. Oh, we got a fresh bottle of Worcestershire. Lot of dabs of that. Okay. Big pinch of salt. Boo! Mix all that around and continue to caramelize. And that's how your onions are made. These have dried out plenty. This is great. You just need like a, one of these like gallon storage freezer bags. Fill up your bag with your onion mush and we're gonna cut off the corner of this bag and then kind of just pipe around. It's a party, it's a party. Yeah. It's a party, it's a party. And now they go in the freezer until they're like fully, fully frozen. Those are hard to make. So, you know, don't, don't feel the need to do that. Choku, good for you guys. I mean, fucking A. So Sign of Salt, the name of our old show, was taken by a much larger YouTube channel that does gamer uh, content. <laughs> so we can't use that name anymore. Damn, I was buttoned up. I got a button up. I was showing a lot of fucking skin just now, guys. Why did you tell me? Okay, for the bacon, we're making it fancy bacon. So we're gonna glaze it with a nice jalapeno maple glaze. Okay, we got diced jalapenos, maple syrup, butter, brown sugar apple cider vinegar, and some worsty sauce. And we're just gonna saute up these jalapenos. So butter goes in. Melt that down, saute these in the butter. We can salt and pepper our jalapenos. A couple minutes of these sauteing, and you can add literally just add everything else. You could just let this simmer and reduce a lot, uh, but we're just gonna add some cornstarch and thicken it up. So add a couple teaspoons of cornstarch, whisk that in. Up to you, you can use cornstarch or not. All right, there you go. That's your glaze. Look at that, boys, oh my god. That is a thick, goopy, goopy, goopy glaze. Uh, get your thick cut bacon. Beautiful, thick cut, applewood smoked bacon right in that fucking still hot, ow, burning my hand glaze. Oh my God, look at it though. I mean, that's just a beauty. Right under the rack. Oh my gosh. That whole jalapeno just sticks right to it, doesn't it now? Anyway, in the oven, 400 degrees for about, I actually have no idea. We're just gonna keep an eye on it, and when it's nice and crispy, we're pulling it out. We need a name for this show. It's gourmet fast food. It, it's just making fast food, but fancier. And I was like, oh my gosh, fancy fast food. Then I look over at my fucking guy Josh on Mythical Kitchen. He literally has a show called Fancy Fast Food. This has been done so many goddamn times, but we're doing it again. A couple things left, one of which is barbecue sauce. It's literally ketchup mixed with vinegar, mixed with sugar, mixed with salt, mixed with other stuff. That's barbecue sauce. So got about a cup of apple cider vinegar that goes in there. It's like almost a half cup of brown sugar. Um, we're doing Calabrian chilies today too, about a half cup. And then spice blend mixture, which is salt, pepper, paprika, cayenne, garlic powder, and onion powder. Goes in the jar. You can heat that shit up, let it simmer for a bit, 
kind of bring it together. You can put anything you want in here, fuckers. That's the, that's the fun part of the show. It's a happy medium between like chaos and law and order. Comment which one you like more, because <laughs> we were trying to figure out where we should stand on the chaos versus law and order situation. <laughs> like if we should have like scripted out ingredients, tablespoons, blah, 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 or me screaming obscenities and just fucking flagrant shit into the microphone all day. All right, so you have your classic battering station, you guys. Flour, egg, panko. Caramelized onion rings. Look at that. So let's do some battering. All right, flour, you gotta go quick. They're only cold for a second. Egg wash. I'm not even doing the dry and wet hand bullshit right now. I don't have time for that. Thank you. Into the fryer. Oil's at like 375, by the way, for anyone wondering. Look at that. That's perfect. Rings are done. We fucking made those. Don't make them at home unless you have a lot of patience and like five and a half hours on your hands. Because <laughs> these are kind of a pain in the ass, unless you're Shoku, they're just magicians. Flaky salt on top, obviously. And it's patty time. Get your beautiful 80-20 ground beef. We're going for like maybe five ounces here, five or six ounces. Roll it out and it's like a ball almost. Spin it into like a burger shape. It's like a meatball that you just like flatten out a little bit into a hockey puck, basically. And that's a nice steakhouse burger. This is something you can cook medium rare, have a nice juicy pink center, okay? And that's what we're going for. There's a burger. All right, these might look massive. They shrink a lot in the pan. Don't you worry. And just season it like a steak. I'm just kosher salt, a lot of salt. A lot of the salt's gonna fall off in the pan, both sides. And I'll be honest with you guys, we ran out of pepper. So we just don't have that right now, or else I'd be peppering these too. Pan on high heat, a tad bit of oil just to lube up your pan. Burger in the pan. Press it down, full surface contact. See the crust that we've achieved over here? That's what you want. Flip it on over. Medium high, because we're not gonna overcook these. Big knob of butter. Goes in the pan. And we're gonna baste these now. Make them nice. Now the cheese goes on the burger, and we let that shit melt. And we're gonna toast up our buns too, actually, in this butter. Quick lid, melt that cheese. Get your blood work done. Get your blood, fuck you unhealthy fat fuck. Dude, I have fine blood work. I know I have a dad bod. That's okay though. Some people have been like, hey, loving the dad bod, by the way. It's kind of refreshing, but also like, well, which, which, do I lean into this? Cause that's way easier for me. It's burger time. All right, a nice slathering of BBQ. Don't be shy. Um, for some added acidity and a little bit more heat. Some hot cherry peppers. And then, perfectly juicy burger. Look at that fucking thing. Goodness gracious, you're beautiful. We have our fucking beautiful glazed bacon. Wow. Look at these bacon strips. Shoku's caramelized onion rings. An extra, of course, giant drizzle of this barbecue sauce. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe we just made this. We gotta, we gotta top our burger. Top bun, <laughs> have one chill out, have one cool it. Just take it easy, all right? We don't wanna lose our fucking heads here. <laughs> but holy shit, all right. I'm gonna take a bite, I'm gonna take a big bite. <laughs> See if I can fit this. <laughs> holy shit, okay, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, that's so good. That's one of the most insane things I've ever made, first of all, just looks wise, but that flavor is fucking off. Okay, Carl's Jr., suck it. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that cross section. <laughs> that is a fucking beauty. Oh, that's nice. That's cooked nicely. All right, Jim, come come eat this now, please. <laughs> Fuck, you have made a monster. That's all How I did am. you get your mouth around it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> get that big boy fucking Jimbo bites on me. <laughs> How's the burger, buddy? That is incredible. All right, Carl's Jr., we beat you. Yeah, what's shaking, Carl's Jr.? Western Bacon Cheeseburger, thank you for watching. We post videos every Sunday. I love you guys so much. Oh my god. All right, thanks for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Woo! I won't die, put this shit away. What the fuck I say? Front yard, broad day with the heads.
is zo... Um, mm, 